Welcome to this short demonstration of Voice Objects Analyzer. Voice Objects Analyzer is the most advanced analysis framework for phone self services, providing detailed information on caller behavior, business task completion, recognition quality, and service utilization. Voice Objects Analyzer is based on standard business intelligence software, currently supporting the leading vendors Business Objects, Cognos, and MicroStrategy. The following report examples are based on Cognos, but are available in similar look and feel for all three business intelligence platforms. Voice Objects Analyzer consists of the dimensional schema for these tools to enable users to adapt existing reports and to create new ones, as well as more than 50 reports in three categories on business and marketing, development and tuning, and administration and maintenance. Based on demo data of the virtual mobile operator Prime Telecom, we want to go through some analytical scenarios now. Imagine we want to know how well the self-service supports our business processes. For this, we select the Business Tasks Completion Rates report from the Business and Marketing category. First of all, we select the reporting period and the service we want to see the report for. This kind of filter page is available for all reports, but will not be shown in the following reports of this video. OK, let's select November 2007 and the Prime Telecom self-service. After pressing Finish, the tool generates the database request and the report is generated. The Business Task Completion Rates report provides a graphical overview of all business tasks covered by the service. The graph shows a bar for each task and the phone channels used by the callers. The bar itself shows the number of task executions clustered by successful and unsuccessful task completions. Further down, the report provides a more detailed view on the task completion in tabular format. The data is split into multiple sections grouped by phone channel. The table shows the completion rate for each task. For incompletely finished tasks, the final status is provided to gain insight into why the task could not be completed. For example, the task to enter a new credit card failed in 16% of all calls because of recognition problems. Before we look more deeply into the recognition quality, we want to continue our service analysis from the business perspective. Suppose we want to know which credit cards were selected within the task Enter New Credit Card. We can run the report Business Task Data for the given task to find this out. To collect this data, the task definition contains a list of relevant parameters that are logged to the InfoStore database. The report then provides key metrics on this numerical or alphanumerical data. In this example, we see that the majority of users selected a MasterCard and that most of them didn't have a card before. But we also see that 6% of the callers tried to enter a diner's card. In our application, this choice is available in the grammar to track the interest, but isn't available as a payment method for Prime Telecom's products. Based on the information gained in this report, we can decide whether it makes sense to add it or not. Furthermore, we can identify that in case of a failed recognition, more than two-thirds of the responses were recognized with a confidence close to the configured threshold. This information may guide developers to adjust the threshold or optimize the grammar to further improve the task completion rate. In the previous reports, we have identified that the task to enter a new credit card wasn't always completed successfully, because session and input state data can always be accessed from a higher level aggregation like the business tasks view, layers, or dominant path analysis, it is easily possible to analyze the details and to identify possible problems. 
In this case, we may use the session analysis to look at all sessions in which the task enter new credit card wasn't completed successfully. For this, we select the time interval and the service. From the list of tasks, we select the enter new credit card and for task completion, we select incomplete. Additional restrictions could be applied, like number of events, availability of recordings, or the average confidence to further limit the displayed session. For now, we want to continue with the current selection. The report shows all sessions that apply to the previous selection. Beside the session date and time, the caller's number and the call duration, we get a list of recognition quality metrics, including confidence, number of processed inputs, successful inputs, and event counters. These numbers help us in identifying specific sessions of interest. For those sessions, a simple click on Details opens a separate window with all details for this specific call. The Session Details view shows the information for each single dialogue step of the call. Each input is provided in its context of the business task and the parent module. Information about the recognition results, confidence and event counters are provided to see how the caller responded to each request and to identify input states that caused problems. If utterance recordings are available, links to the audio files are provided so you can directly listen to the caller's responses. Other typical business questions crucial to service quality and dialogue personalization are which caller profiles use the service and what is their behavior. The report Layer Usage Overview shows the status of service personalization. In this example, we see that in 80% of the calls, the caller was identified. This means that for 80% of calls, detailed information about the caller can be used, for example, to run one-to-one -one campaigns. The report also provides information on the customer groups using the service. In this case, more than 75% of the callers are silver level customers. So it might be interesting to further enhance the service with features for this group. Switching our point of view, let us now analyze the self-service system from an administration and maintenance view. Several reports provide information on call volume, server, server instance, and service utilization, as well as on the cluster setup. To optimize the resource usage, while operating multiple services on a single infrastructure, the session partitioning feature of Voice Object Server can be used. Administrators can use the corresponding report to monitor the partitioning settings and to optimize them. The report shows the resource utilization of the service, including the boundaries of set session limits, guarantees, and a floating pool. The powerful reports provided by Voice Objects Analyzer are based on data that is captured by Voice Objects Server, the service execution environment that logs system and call data in real time to standard relational databases. The well documented data model is optimized for multi dimensional analysis and can easily be extended and used in any business intelligence or query tool. Voice Objects Analyzer provides a multidimensional schema that allows users to easily modify existing reports or to create their own. Out of the box, the predefined reports provide insight into all aspects of a deployment and can be used as starting point for sophisticated analysis on business, application, and technical level. We have reached the end of this brief Voice Objects Analyzer demo tour. 
For more information on how Voice Objects Analyzer can support your business, visit our website at www.voiceobjects.com or get in contact with us through info at voiceobjects.com. To experience the advantages of using Voice Objects, we invite you to test our free developer edition. Download it at developers.voiceobjects.com. Thanks again and bye bye.